All right, the following is a video about one-step metric conversion problems. The first one says, how many grams are in 0 0.500 kilograms? The unit that I'm asking for is grams, which happens to be the base unit. So we know that this is a one-step metric conversion problem. If it were a two-step metric conversion problem, both units, the one I was asking for and the one that's given, would both have a prefix. The prefix in this one is kilo. Okay? Kilo means 1,000. So we need 1,000 base units to make up one kilogram. To start, you write the given information, and we will be multiplying this by the conversion factor, which will be written as a fraction. So we said that there are one thousand grams in one kilogram. When you are doing a conversion problem, whichever unit you find on the top of the first step needs to go into the bottom of the next step. This allows us to cancel out these units. So if I have kilograms on the top, kilograms goes on the bottom of the next step. So I will write one kilogram, because there's one kilogram per one thousand grams. 1,000 grams will go on the top, right? So you multiply the numbers on the top, you divide by numbers on the bottom. So kilograms will cancel out. 0 0.500 times 1,000 divided by one, you will get 500 grams. Okay. And a little trick that I taught you in class, um, we know that when we are multiplying, that numbers get larger. So if we're multiplying by 1,000, a little trick is to see how many zeros we have. Okay, so it's three zeros. If we multiply by 1,000, I know that the decimal is going to move three places to the right. Okay, so in other words, it got three places larger. Okay, if we multiply this number will get larger. All right, the next problem. How many liters are in 5,000 milliliters? All right, I know that milli also refers to 1,000. However, milliliters is the, a smaller unit than liters. So we need 1,000 milliliters to equal one liter. Again, you write, start by writing down the given information, which is 5,000 milliliters. Okay, and I will be multiplying by that by the conversion factor, but I will write that as a fraction. Okay. I have milliliters on the top, so we have to put milliliters on the bottom. These units must match. So whichever unit you find here, you need to put that same unit on the bottom. And it says that there are 1,000 milliliters, so I'm going to write 1,000 next to milliliters, in one liter. We're going to multiply the numbers on the top, so 5,000 times 1, and then we divide by 1,000. Milliliters cancels out. So 5,000 times 1 is 5,000 divided by 1,000. and you will get five liters. Okay, if we refer back to the trick I showed you in the first problem, you have 5,000, okay, so we can assume the decimal place is right here. Um, we're dividing by 1,000. 1,000 has three zeros, so I'm gonna move this back. One, two, three. Okay, so division means the number is going to get smaller. In multiplication, the number gets larger.